shoot. Okay, this is the wrong save. Okay, let me just do all that over again. We're just gonna do all that all over again, basically. There we go. Alright, everything's back to normal. Okay. Fixed everything there. Now let's go to Peru. We'll fix that up. So, okay. I don't want to get back to the to um, Argentina. So let me just bug, set my owner, FOP 290, the ref, who owns the ref, my bad, 290, okay, set owner, Mexico, but I think I'm just going to hold tight and wait for Canada to take the initiative and invade more of the country. But in the meantime, I'll just let Canada take the initiative, as I said before. So I'm done. I'm, uh, I'm done researching nuclear weapons, but I still don't have any nuclear bombs at the moment, and Canada is still occupying much of Germany. What'll happen with that? Who knows? And they're still occupying Great Britain. 
of course. And the President of France is still André Malarme. And the President of Belgium is still Paul-Henri Spock. Okay, it looks like... Well, it looks like um, Canada gave back Germany much of its western lands. I don't know why they didn't give this back to Germany, though. Hang on a second. That's probably some border war. I don't know. Hang on, let me go to Canada for a second. Yeah, there we go. That's much better. Here we have the German Empire owning much of Western Germany. And they're not as big as they used to be before. They're still, um, you know, they're still the German Empire, but they're not as big as they used to be. And they're divided between the German Republic and the German Empire. And they're allied with the Entente, and they still contain much of Germany's colonies. As well as mainland Germany, but only part of mainland. It's interesting because all this land was basically, most of it anyway, was part of our world's West Germany, which is interesting. It's almost like Germany is divided between East and West, very similarly to in real history. And uh, these are the factions. Once again, we have the Entente and the Russian Sphere, and we also have the Cairo Pact. And, uh, the Kingdom of Italy should be restored soon. Here we are, my new empire of Grand Peru. Looks pretty amazing. And the Russian Republic just declared war on Turkey. Not surprised they're doing that. It only makes sense, to be honest. of the German Empire is Hamburg. Interesting. Seventh is back on the throne. And the Liberal Party is the current ruling party in the United Kingdom. Interesting. Okay. What's this? Okay, apparently the Republic of China is now a puppet of the Shandong Click? Well, that's weird. I think that might be just a generic portrait, though. This is very weird. I don't really know what to say. Okay. And now the Empire of Japan declared war on German East Asia. Which makes sense, because German East Asia doesn't really have its German benefactor anymore. Because it's not really tied anymore to the um, German Empire. It's now an ally of the Entente. The German Empire, which is now an ally of the Entente, doesn't really have German East Asia as a colony anymore. German East Asia sort of broke off. So now, they're easy pickings for Japan. And they're also still at war with the Philippines, so there's that too. Alright, let me go down. Let me do these two focuses. And the Bharatiya Commune has basically unified all of India, and they took um, this land from Nepal. And, uh, okay, 
now Nirmal Kumar Bose is in charge, so Subhas Chandra Bose is gone. Interesting. So now India is probably going to be like an agrarian socialist country. And the war between Egypt and Ethiopia is still going on. Okay, I'll sign this non aggression pact with Albania. of Italy has been restored. It's beautiful, isn't it? And uh, who's the Prime Minister? Anselmo Contu. Italy has been restored as the Kingdom of Italy. And the House of Savoy is back on the throne. <laughs> Quite glorious. that's kind of interesting is that Portugal still has Galicia, which they took from Spain. Interesting. So I'm just going to... I'll research that. And it looks like Turkey's about to capitulate soon. that non-aggression pack too. Okay, Turkey has been annexed, but will Russia liberate it? That's the big question. Yeah, I'll sign that non-aggression pact with the UK. Okay, Turkey did liberate, okay, Russia did liberate Turkey, but they occupy the area around Constantinople and Cyprus, which they gave back to Greece. Oh, they didn't. They made it a puppet state. So Turkey is led by Hassan Ali Yusel, and Cyprus is led by Plutus Servas. And they're both under social democratic governments, and they're both Russian puppet states. Interesting. So the Russian sphere has some more members. And basically the Black Sea is a Russian lake. And they have a warm water port now. Much to the chagrin of the Entente, I'm sure. And Canada, it could liberate Iceland. Serbia forms Yugoslavia. Awesome. Why am I, let me just look at something with Russia. Let's see if Russia can release some countries. So let's have them release Ukraine. Or did, or did they enact Ukraine? I guess they could release Ukraine, but let's have them release Estonia. Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, okay, let's have them release um, Ukraine, which they did release before, but let's have them annex Crimea. I don't know, Russia annexed Crimea before, so I'm going to... I'll give Russia Crimea in a little bit. Um, but let's also have them liberate the Caucasian nations. So, Azerbaijan, Armenia, and um, Georgia. Except Abkhazia. They, Abkhazia should be a part of Russia. But I'll fix that too with consul commands. So, let's look at this. this. This land can probably go to Armenia. So, let's go back to Peru. Okay, Ukraine is back, and 
Poland is led by the same, the same, the same, sorry, the same, hope I'm pronouncing that right. Lithuania is led by Vladas Pozela. Latvia is led by Margers Suyenikis, Margers Suyeniks. Estonia is led by August Rai. Um, Ukraine is led by Vladimir Vinichenko. Georgia is led by Nora Mashvili. Azerbaijan is led by Mashadi Azezbekov. And Armenia is led by Johannes Kai Azuni. But let me just fix something. This is a bug. Let me take a country that doesn't exist, make it the owner of... Okay, a country not on the map, let me make it the owner of Abkhazia. And of Crimea. this land to Norway. That makes sense. There we go. Now Norway has the Finnmark Plateau. States has declared war on Canada. This is interesting. Well, they're going to get screwed, but also the United States could be reformed through New England, and then the United States could become a part of the Entente, so that's interesting. <laughs> 